On today's episode, Boston Dynamics Atlas tackles parkour, and Elon Musk announces the Tesla Android. Today's episode is brought to you by Engineering.com, a globally trusted source for engineering content. Check out this and many other exclusive videos for the engineering professional found only on Engineering.com TV today. Boston Dynamics Atlas, the bipedal robot, will become a YouTube favorite for its advanced capability and almost human range of motion. The company has released a new video of the latest iteration of Atlas running an improvised parkour course, which demonstrates an even more lifelike performance. How the team achieved this has been little discussed, but the firm has recently opened up about some of the computational strategies used by the company. Boston Dynamics engineer Pat Marion describes the problems of effective bipedal robot motion as rapid behavior creation, dynamic locomotion, and connections between perception and control. Perception algorithms convert data generated by cameras and LiDAR into information usable by higher-level decision-making code. Atlas uses inertial platforms along with sensors for joint position and force to generate a synthetic image of the ground for balance purposes, but the machine must still see and perceive its surroundings to be useful. According to Marion, Atlas uses time-of-flight sensing to generate point clouds of the robot's immediate environment at a 15 frames per second rate, then processes this point cloud data to create virtual surfaces. The surfaces are then fed into a mapping system that builds a virtual model of the ground environment and objects within the camera's field of view. The system then plans a route forward, then assesses the local environment and modifies the motion control instruction set in real time. While a future perfect system would work anywhere, anytime, the current Boston Dynamics technology uses predefined maps of the general area of operation, then lets the machine fill in close range details. The strategy is roughly similar to that employed by Waymo for self driving auto technology. Is this the way forward for bipedal multi purpose robotics? Time will tell, but it looks like a useful compromise that will get useful machines into the field quickly. If you like this show, be sure to subscribe to our channel and click on the notification bell for our next episode. In what may be the least surprising news announcement of the year, Tesla CEO Elon Musk has announced that the firm will develop its own bipedal Android general purpose robot. Announced at Tesla's Artificial Intelligence Day event on August 19th, the Tesla bot will stand 5 foot 8 inches tall and weigh about 125 pounds, and use 40 actuators with 12 alone in the hands. The unit will be built from unspecified lightweight materials, very likely carbon fiber, and will use end effectors shaped like human hands. The considerable computational power needed to develop a robot of this complexity will require a serious supercomputer, which Tesla is building with the Dojo program. Dojo will use Tesla's in-house designed D1 chip, which uses 7 nanometer technology and can operate at 362 teraflops per second, which is certainly in the league of supercomputer speed. Multiple chips are integrated into modules that Tesla calls Dojo training tiles. The company reports that each tile is capable of performing 9 petaflops per second, 30 times the capability of a single chip. By scaling the tiles in a single assembly, Tesla predicts that early 12 tile configurations will handle 100 petaflops per second with room for further growth. The first use of the technology will be to develop Tesla's self driving program for vehicles, but it will certainly be needed to achieve the much more difficult task of operating a true human scale bipedal robot. Musk announced that Tesla will begin recruiting talent for the robot project immediately and predicts the first prototype will be ready in 2022. Now that's a very ambitious timeline and much depends on the success of the Dojo project and the ability to find the necessary engineering talent in a highly competitive employment market. If you're an AI robotics engineer, this industry is your iron rice bowl. We'll report back as Tesla reveals more about the project. Well, that's it for today's episode of This Week in Engineering, brought to you by Engineering.com. For our deeper engineering series, visit engineering.com TV for exclusive shows like Manufacturing the Future and Designing the Future, not found in our YouTube channel. The links are in the description below. Thanks for watching.